CN's commitment to safety is unwavering. Our goal remains to enable residents to return to their homes as quickly as it is safely possible. As has been said, we had hoped that that could take place this morning, earlier than had been predicted. That's not going to be possible, and we apologize to residents. Here's what is happening. Last night at 6.43 p.m., CN began a controlled burn of the propane in the derailed tank cars. We had hoped the exercise would burn off the, all the propane in the cars so that we could move in, remove the cars, and allow people to go home. Unfortunately, when we went to inspect the cars at 11 p.m. last evening, we found that not all the cars had vented their propane. In the interest of safety, we withdrew. Residents will remain evacuated until further notice. We will not speculate at this time how long it will take to return them to their homes. Understand that all agencies on scene are doing their best to bring people home, but we must ensure it occurs when it is safe to do so. It is critical that residents follow this mandatory evacuation as our emergency services personnel need to focus their efforts on dealing with the incident itself and resolving the situation. Uh, I just want to sta state that uh, Parkland County's focus since this incident occurred has been and continues to be the safety of our residents. Sure. Was there any evidence of damage to the tracks or tampering in the area before this happened? No, CN inspects our tracks regularly. This track in question was last expected two days prior to this incident.